Hey friends, it's Natana. Welcome to day 10 of fitness and day 79 of 100 for my fitness and sobriety challenge with body. Man, was that hard to get out. Mercury retrograde is in full, full effect. It's not, but it is. <laughs> my day yesterday was in like, I was going to say intense with the things that kept like going on, but it wasn't like it was just like, hey, here's a blockage challenge. Here's a blockage challenge. Anyways, guys, I want to do something a little different today. Normally, in the past, I would always do a sacred daily intention to um, set my day along with my fitness practice. Um, and it's something I want to bring back. And so I figured since I'm keeping these videos shorter that I should just do my sacred daily intentions as my voiceover for these videos rather than just running my mouth because I think that is more one, intentional, two, uh, focused, three, it keeps me back in my practice and helps you have a practice so you can understand what mindset can look like and spiritually connecting in can look like at the same time. So if you didn't know, I am hosting a accountability group. I support like-minded women who are looking to build community when it comes to nutrition, fitness, mindset, and spirituality. I am also sober for almost five years. And so if you would like to get sober from anything, I am a great support to encourage you. So let's go ahead. Let's get comfy. Let's get cozy. Let's close our eyes. Let's call in our crew, our guides, our angels, our higher selves, all that is of the utmost highest good spirit please be here with us now please protect us from all our energies and entities as we sit in this energy of self and so it is so it shall be so mode it be amen <sighs> today i'm going to dedicate my day say what i'm thankful for because i'm somebody who loves myself i have and or i will and something that's most alive for me in this moment right here and now is i also would like you in the comments below to let me know what you are dedicating your day to what you are thankful for because you're somebody who loves yourself you have and or you will and something that's most alive for you in this moment right here and now is this is a practice of knowing thyself gnosis two vulnerability with self Three, acknowledging self. Four, um, holding space for self. Five, really embodying the energy of what does that look, sound, feel, hear like? I mean, all the things I've already said, but well, you know, what is this sensation going on within me and outside of me when I'm in this energy of focusing on me? All right, guys, I am going to get to it. I'm going to do some EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique tapping, just to really integrate it into my body. So that way I can really turn on my frontal cortex and that way I can be consciously present and subconsciously present at the same time, balance like yin and yang. <sighs> Today, I am thankful. I am thankful for new energy today. I dedicate my day. I dedicate my day to allowing fluidity and, and enjoyment. Today, something that's most alive for me in this moment right here and now is really coming to a closure with things at the end of this year to really open up to an expansion of what is to come next year from all the hard work I've been doing regardless of that's physically working out my body creating a routine starting a new business pushing myself out of my comfort zone you know all these things have been accumulating and I'm excited for that and because I'm somebody who loves myself, I have and or I will, clearly I'm getting my stretching on and I will, I will allow as much creativity and fluidity as possible in the day before I have to take care of my clients. I um, just wish I had a little bit more me time sometimes, but that's my own issue because that's something I put upon myself and I could change it at any moment that I desire whenever I really need to. And um, I'm just going to allow myself to sit in that and contemplate that and feel that and just allow that to process for me. 
Well guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys have a happy Monday. It's a new moon tomorrow, maybe today, even if you're on the other side of the world. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.